Hey guys, it's Anthony from MCTDM. If you haven't seen the previous video, I'd recommend watching it. Annotation on the screen and in the description. Anyways, brief recap, my account got hijacked. The email and password were changed without any notifications to my original email account that it was linked to, and I wasn't able to recover it. And I just wanted to say though, if you can't tell by the total, Mojang, your support team is bloody awesome. And more importantly, Adam M from the support team who dealt with my case, thanks a lot mate, you're a legend. Any, anyone who has ever had to deal with support for any company that is large knows it's a bloody pain in the ass. As soon as you go into financial types of departments as well, it gets a lot worse. I'll throw a few examples. Vodafone mobile support, got a problem with your phone today, good luck getting help for the next four hours that you're on hold, you're better off going in store. But then they'll just put you back on the phone for them. Anyway, probably a bad example, so let's use Blizzard for um, another example. You message the GMs in game, you'll get a fairly quick response. Back in the day when I used to play Ralph the Lich King anyway. Um, but nothing too helpful. They couldn't help with covering your account or anything. You'd have to go through your other departments. Or call them up and then you usually had to call up through their hours. And it was a pain. I've had to deal with that a bit too many times as well. With locking me out because of IP. And then you want to look at a company like Jagex and their support for RuneScape. It was it's pretty bloody horrible on their own website. You actually have to go through Reddit or Twitter if you want any help at all. And then there's another Jagex game that's been deleted now, but it was called War of Legends, and that support was horrible. It went three months without an employee actually commenting on the forums at all. That was how horrible their support was. But no, Mojang, when you finally get around to submitting the ticket, well, it took a bit of time to find, you get into a queue, it tells you where they're up into a queue, when they expect you to come out of the queue and get a response, and this one was about five days backlogged when I submitted it, and for being a massive company, five days is actually pretty good when it's all done via email. And what did I know? On the fifth day, I get a response from Adam. Um, that's goodness in the first part that they're on time. But I, when I went to submit it and stuff, I knew the account name, the payment method, the previous email. And that was pretty much it. I had no idea when I purchased it. All I knew was it was late in the beta stages of the game. And being a derpy idiot like what I am, I went and got the PayPal tra transaction for when I thought it was. I've purchased a lot of alts through PayPal, so I had quite a few transactions, but it was the, about the first one I could, like, the oldest one I could find. Sent off the proof of purchase and got an email back eventually, and it said I was the wrong bloody details, for, and it was for another old account. And instead of Adam being like, nope, you got it wrong, see you, mate, he notified me that I was on the right track, that there were other previous ones with that account, and to go further back into there and look into when beta actually was released when I thought I purchased the account. So I was like, well, I'm a fucking idiot. Go back, because um, I submitted that it was a 2012 account that I purchased. But no, beta 1.8, when I actually purchased it, came out in 2011, um, about June 2011, and I purchased, I think it was October, it was. Anyway, I was expecting to have to wait another five days for response, because anyone that you've dealt with where you have to respond to an email and join the queue again, usually it's like that. But to my surprise, Adam actually responded the same day, so everything's confirmed. However, I need to provide a new email account because all the email accounts I listed in the original one was linked with other Minecraft accounts and being alts, they can't register more than one account to it. So I send off another response. I'm going, well, maybe tomorrow. I might be able to play, maybe the day after. And I wake up. I notice on my emails, I've got an email back from everything is sorted. And I can now have access to my account again, change the passwords, all that. And that's great. So Mojang and most importantly Adam, thank you for your support, thank you for the speed of service, and keep up the great work, and cheers for helping me out. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like rating, let me know in the comments if you've had to deal with Mojang support and how it went for you. As for massive craft support, well, I posted stating I needed help on the 31st of January. You told me to message the admins via the forums in the private message system. I did, I posted in the section for an account transfer. And, well, no response in over a week. Actually, the only response you made was to lock my thread after I stated I got my account back and returned it. And I didn't need help anymore. Bravo and well done. But you didn't forget to take my VIP payment, by the way, when that was due, even though I couldn't access my account. So, yeah, bravo. See ya. Next video. Bye.